Hi everyone, welcome to day 29. Just having a look at what we've achieved because we're near the end now and um, done a lot, haven't we? Amazing to think this was all just a big space of whiteness before. Right, let's see what we get behind number 29. Okay, very nice. We've got a silk touch white chanting. Look at all that. Wow. <coughs> nice lot of goodies. So today is a clue of what we're doing today. And I really do think it's what every winter wonderland should have. We're building a snowman today. Now big decision is where to put the snowman because I quite like the present and the Christmas tree together alone over there so I don't think we'll build it there there's a massive space here but and over here this looks probably the best bet doesn't it over this side or do we want to go to the back of the mountain and build something at the back, a little draw around. So you've got your sle sledging going on there, you've got your skiing over there. Um, and then the other thing we've got to think about is there's going to be a back of a snowman. And um, which side do we want showing? Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I think we'll put the snowman over here in this space here by the maze because our snowman isn't going to be an ordinary snowman oh no 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 our snowman's going to have a theater inside it and i thought it'd be really really funny if it had performing snowman <laughs> inside the theater inside his tummy so um I've decided I'm going to build a giant wall around, which is what we're doing tomorrow, putting some exits in and a big entrance. And so the back of the wall could be the back of the theatre, couldn't it? So this, I mean, it doesn't have to be straight like that. We could have him coming that way, couldn't we? It'd be quite nice. You come out the theatre here. Let's see what we use. Um, Bad start, isn't it? So come out the theatre at the side of the snowman, which brings you it's a bit bigger than one, won't it? So that could be the side. Luckily for us, snowmen come in all shapes and sizes, so we can get away with being a, a really wibbly wobbly snowman if we want. So there's the side entrance. And of course we have to allow enough enough room for the theatre to be inside. So yeah, I mean people come in. I mean I could make the entrance come round that way and scoop round. So we want the front of the stone really to be over here, don't we? This is gonna be at the front of our stone and I've got no idea how we're gonna bend it round because I want a flat, a flattish side. So I have it that look about. Yeah, I think we can just build it that way because we've got to have the theatre stage this side and then um, the stores. We might move the entrance over there a bit depending how we get on. Uh, so this is going to be the front of the snowman. So you've got your... He's going to be huge, isn't he? But we can taper him up as we go in, can't we? You know, as long as he's this size for too high. A 
for the snowman inside near the station. It needs to be three high at least before we start coming in. So I have decided to do this. It's not going to be a very round snowman, is it? <laughs> I have decided to do this in two parts. So the first part will be the actual making of the snowman. And then the second part is going to be the theatre construction. And I thought what I would do with this snowman, he looks absolutely berserk in his size already, doesn't he? It just doesn't look like a snowman at all, that shape. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think I might be judging a bit too harshly here. Um, what well, I was going to say, what I want to do with the snowman is fast for the head. I think that's going to be a smaller one to do. And time loop the construction of the the body so you see it um, growing like you did the tree yeah that's not looking so good is it so this has got to be the back of the theatre so I've, I've not come around symmetrical I don't think it needs to be symmetrical just thinking it just needs to be a bit better than that <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big theatre you know Make it ginormous or anything, as in inside. Um, so I'll just finish marking out um, the. Um, Back of the snowman, I need to have to be something like that. you'll be able to see the theatre and the new stage. <laughs> That's the problem I've got. Okay, so this is the front of the snowman. So it's the front of the theatre. That's the back of the theatre. So that has to be that as well. And then we've got a good starting point. And like I say, I shall time lapse snowman building and try not to lose any of the recordings like I did with the um, present. So enjoy the time lapsing. Okay everyone, as you can see I've changed the front a bit, it was jagged like this side here but then I think I'm putting buttons on it and I'm doing arms out that's going to be easier to do on a, a smooth front so that's why I changed can't get down now. that's why I changed that bit there to a front um, I think it looks okay it's obviously going to look better when it's got its buttons on and its arms and everything it's a bit funny around the back but I don't think that matters too much I've done two entrances here and you might have seen I marked out 
inside the theatre to where the stage and the seats are going because I wanted to make sure I got the snowman the right size. So now um, we're going to be doing the head but I'm going to put the scarf on first because I think it's going to be easier to work out where the head should be if I've got the scarf on. Now I'm doing sponge. I know I could be doing wool because it's going to be a knitted scarf but I thought about and I thought this looks more woolly which sounds really strange but I think it, it does so um, it's got quite it's got little, little particles coming off it which is quite sweet um I think it'll look better with the sponge so um that's why I've chosen this brick okay so like I said lopsided heads or snowmen's quite common <laughs> this one's gonna be no exception so I just wonder if to do it two or one I think one uh, I think we'll have it coming down this side and I'll turn it just to give it a little bit of texture um, and then we'll go back like we did with the Christmas tree and the decorations check see what it looks like I think it needs to come down a bit further yeah so I have it coming down side here I didn't expect the white part, the blue particles on it, but I think that's adding to it. Okay, so that should look like a scarf now. Yeah, actually, it does look like a scarf, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm quite surprised. Come out one more and down, so it's hanging actually off the snow. That should just finish it off. Yeah, we get the buttons on. Now I've got um, wool and obsidian. I think the obsidian's going to look a bit more like it stands out than the wool, but we'll do the wool as well and see if it looks more natural with the wool. I'll get down and go. Oh, I've got my finger on the wrong key. That's why. Helps if you've got the finger on the right key. Let's see if a look. Well, I think they look the same, to be honest. But I'm going to do it obsidian. Deciding. So, usually three buttons. I don't know why. Childhood, probably. And one. There. This is buttons done. And uh, we've got arms and head to do so I'm going to fast forward the head and obviously we'll put the face things on it so you will see this all speeded up So as you can see, it's a very quirky looking snowman. 
head should be over this side a bit and it should be a bit more rounder but there you are <laughs> such is life no snowman's perfect now i've debated whether or not to do the nose obviously orange but you can have it like a carrot and do it with um um no oh dear or, or and or um like a tangerine and i wondered maybe it should be glowing a bit so that's why i bought the the glow stick so the um done the pumpkin lanterns now keep it the same it's gonna be raw coal for the <laughs> weird strange critter going on here um should be a space shouldn't there before the nose oh no oh what happened there oh didn't like it Mmm, just make his nobles. So that's that idea out. I don't know why that was doing it, didn't like it at all, did it? It works with the nose looking out. Do we have a carrot nose? Yeah, that's that that that's okay. Yeah, this is carrot nose and then the eyes. Oh, here's a point. Could we put glowstone for the eyes just to make him glow? Uh, was going to do it cold, but I think it needs something a little bit different. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Actually, that looks really good. Does it need to be three out? No, that's long enough for a carrot, isn't it? Now the hat. Yeah, so I've got brown. Because I thought... Get rid of that, get rid of that, don't need that. Okay, so I was thinking, that, I don't two spruce, who knows. I was thinking top hat, and then I was thinking floppy hat. <laughs> top hat should be black. I think we've got enough black on him. I think uh, it could be brown top hat, couldn't it? I was wondering, because he looks a bit funny, he's got a fringe here. If we put it on the top of this going round and then what we'll do is bring it up into like a really sharp point and that'll look like a top hat because it's going to be difficult to do it a little bit rounder because obviously we're working in squares so let's see yeah and then we'll put his the hat like this and then we'll come in and it will just be flat so and i think um fancy oops, which is quite a boring hat really but i don't think it needs to be i think it's made too much if it's a a flashy hat having a traditional snowman might have a quirky body but he's gonna have a traditional hat and scarf so that might be enough oh yeah that is definitely enough so we'll just put a, a roof on it we're on peaceful, so we don't need to put a glowstone on time, a glowstone on top, worrying about things spawning. So let's have a look. And obviously, oh, he looks fantastic! I'm really chuffed because I wasn't let's get down, wasn't too sure at all at one point what it was going to look like. Now, arms. This could be a bit problematic. I did okay with the bow, so um, a bit of confidence. I thought. Okay, I think it's there. Now we can block it out like that, or we can just do it. Oh, we got a tiny arm. So I think we would definitely do it two blocks like that. Because I was wondering if just could go up on a diagonal with it instead of making it come out a bit. I think it's quite nice that the, the wood grains different ways. Then it needs to. Oh, how cute is that? I think really it just needs to come out, and then we can make the hand go up. Oops, not that way. That way. See what that looks like. Oh, that's perfect. 
Now what we're going to do is make this one go up on a diagonal. So whereabouts did I start those? About, it doesn't have to be exact. About there. So, so I mean about going up on the diagonal. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Now a bit more. Let me do the hand. Oh yeah, he's really good. I'm really, really pleased with him. That hand looks a bit smaller, doesn't it? Just say maybe it needs to be two. Just have a look at if that looks a because he is a big snowman. Yeah, that looks better. And then what we'll do is we'll have one coming up like that. And then just one coming out. And that looks hopefully like twigs that you've broken from a tree. Oh, yes, yeah, snowman complete. I am so pleased with him because I was worried about this one. I didn't think at one point he could look like a snowman. So he didn't look like a snowman from any other perspective. He just looks a ridiculous shape, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, look at that. <laughs> Flat sided head there. But um, no, I'm really, really pleased with that. So thanks for watching this part and I'll see you later today when we're, we're having the complicated, <laughs> don't know how I'm going to do this, theatre inside to construct. So thanks for watching. Bye.